Okay. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. So, I am... Um, God is good. Let's we'll start there. God is good. God, my God is amazing, y'all. I started this journey, and I've made no sales. <laughs> but we're still holding faith. It's fine. It's fine. It's been the little things. When I first started this journey... I wasn't entirely sure. I wasn't planning on, on taking it to this level in the first place. I was not. I was going to, um, I just started gardening. I was like, I like to garden, so let me start gardening and took it from there. So once I did that, I was like, hmm, I like this. I like watching stuff grow. I like making stuff grow and figuring out how to fertilize and all this other stuff. So I was doing that. So then I started studying the herbs and I was like, I love this. I absolutely love it. So, and then I got into teas and salves and tinctures and all that other stuff. So I started doing all that. I, I, I love it. Um, and so I never knew that I was going to go to like a mall cart like that it's huge like it's huge I never I never knew and I told you the story in my last one about how it came to be um like all of a sudden but that's more of what I want to talk about like I've had so much when things are great it, it's like effortless like I said it's effortless like I have had everything just falls into place as it should um there are those moments where I'm like doing all this and I'm like for what and I have those moments but I was watching I love Joy Blair she's a YouTuber if you don't know her pastor minister whatever she is Joy Blair love her so her her, her message today was um, was about how the devil comes and presents with a lot of opposition into what it is that we're trying to do. She started her own business too multiple times, I think. She's got a whole house and new house and everything. And I, I, I admire that. I would love to be there. I'm just not on that caliber yet. So um but when you talk when she was talking about how there are moments where you know you doubt like is this really a sign from God? Is it really? And I'm doing I do the same thing. And the minute I did the same thing throughout this entire process. I'm like, no, I'm not going to quit my job for this. No, I'm not going to do that. No, this is too much money. It's outrageous. And then something good would happen to confirm that I'm supposed to be doing it. And then there's silence for a little while, you know, like, okay, so am I, are you sure? And then the doubt creeps back in. Okay. Am I really supposed to be doing this? I don't know. Like, cause I haven't made any money yet. You know, we're, this is day three, technically day three. So day three, I mean, it takes a minute. I haven't made any money. So, I told you that I had hired someone. So, I hired a chick and she, um, well, first let me talk about, when, about the, what, the doubt creeping in. So, like, when I first, when I was like, oh, well, it's, my funding didn't come through and I had foregone all of this. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to do the lease. And I had told the people at the mall and I had canceled the lease and everything else. And then she emailed me again. And I let it go. And I was like, I'm okay, Lord. If this is what it's meant to be, then we're just we're focused on the Etsy. And then we're going to move from there. I was like, I'm at peace with this. I'm at peace with it. I'm like, I'm fine. And then, so then she, um, that's when she emailed me the next day and was like, it was like a week later, but she emailed me a week later and was like, you don't have to pay anything for September, um, October would be your first payment you can start anytime <laughs> that's when I was like mind blown I was like so I'm supposed to be doing this Lord like that was my confirmation there like okay Lord yes I'm supposed to be doing this that's fine um a lot of people look at you like you're crazy when you, you're talking to yourself in your car but at this, in the age of bluetooth people let's get with it okay I'm not talking to myself well I am but you know whatever I'm talking to my one subscriber hey kudos to you I don't know man or woman whatever kudos thanks um so I that was my confirmation for that so then throughout the whole entire week when I was finalizing my the rest of my job and everything else and I was just praying for confirmation I was praying like I, I, I need confirmation I was fasting I was praying I was putting in 
work and but I was like I need I'm, I'm, I'm not perfect though I know I fall I fall 20 times over in a day um but I I was praying for confirmation I never got it I was asking what I was asking for was a rainbow I was like show me a rainbow you know at the end of the rainbow the bible is a pot of gold not a pot of gold but you know it's prosperity and all this other stuff it's not just about the money it's just about but whatever you know what I mean it's not just but like I Lord knows what I need to survive he knows what I need to do he knows that I need to come up with this money by the end of the month so I was like show me a sign give me a dream show me a sign do something I need a, I need a rainbow so a week went by I had got no confirmation I didn't remember any dreams I didn't remember nothing so I was like okay um I still, I'm going to keep pushing through, but little things would happen to like push me forward still, you know, it wasn't anything that like shut it down completely. It was like, okay, let's go. Let's go. All right. I'm like, okay. So I kind of kept moving. I still walking in faith, kept moving forward, still took my last day at work and let that be that. So then, um, I think the next week came and I was like, all right, Lord, show me a show me a uh, a rainbow or a sign I think <laughs> my daughter is obsessed with rainbows so I was thinking more like a rainbow I was like a crazy person like looking up in the sky looking at people's license plates like looking at their bumper stickers like <laughs> trying to find me a rainbow but I was like stop I heard in my spirit like stop if I'm going to show you a rainbow or, or whatever confirmation I'm going to show it to you and you're going to see it you're not going to miss it I don't have to be looking like a crazy person trying to drive I'm going I'm not going to miss it so I'm like, all right. So I was just trying to be still and whatever. I still never got any confirmation from that until my daughter came in one night. And she was like, Mommy, here, I made you a picture at school. And it was a rainbow. <laughs> and I was like, is that you, God? So, you know, of course, you know, confirmed three times. Like the guy in the Bible that was like, if this is full of water or whatever. I don't know the whole story. Um, but confirm. I need you to confirm again. Like, if this really has due this morning, I'm going to need you to confirm again. Okay. So, <laughs> of course, here we are still a week later, and I never got another confirmation. I never really got a confirmation. I'd be, like, looking at things and, like, see a speck of freaking color and be like, oh, that's a rainbow. No, it's not a rainbow, honey. You need to calm down. So, I was like, okay. But I, it, just, it just makes me chuckle, like, because are you giving me what I'm asking for right now? Is Are you showing me a rainbow, Lord? Like... And I still, I didn't hear anything. So I'm like, okay, I'm still going to walk in faith. And I'm still going to, at this point, I was already committed. Like, I didn't have a choice. So I still did what I had to do. So I was like, uh, I've been going, it's been, a, it's been a good week. But I hired, I hired the, I hired a lady to help me out of the car. Because 10 to 9, the hours at the mall are 10 to 9. And I'd be getting there like 8.30 to add stuff and to, to set up a little bit more and to do this and that. And I, I, I just can't do that. I'm mean, gonna have kids. I'm going to school. Like I couldn't do that. I couldn't sit there for twelve hours a day. Um, and I'm not getting home until nine. You know, like ugh. So I did that, and I hired her, and she worked out for. I think I hired her the first day on the Tuesday that I opened, and then she came back on. Wednesday she came back on the Wednesday I told her to be there at 10 o'clock so she came back on the Wednesday and we started doing her onboarding stuff and all this payroll and all this other and it was fine but I sent I ended up sending her home earlier after like two three hours or whatever because I didn't need her to stay there that long that day and so I did that and then Wednesday which was Thursday, which was yesterday, um, she came, she texted me at 9.59 and was like, oh, I don't think this position is for me, but like, we got along, like, it was nothing, it was nothing like that, she just, I could tell she wasn't feeling it, so I was like, all right, I was expecting it, but I wasn't expecting it, so I was like, all right, so I had one more application, so I was like, Lord, what do I do now, what do I do now, so of course, you know, you just spring into action, like, what are you gonna do, because I was expecting you to be there at 10, so I could kind of, like, go do some more things make some more product for during the couple hours that she was going to be there and then 
relieve her but it didn't work out that way so I was like sitting there like I'm gonna have to be here till nine o'clock tonight what am I supposed to do blah 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 so I I had one more resume because I had posted a job a job posting I had one more resume that had been sitting there so I called the guy back it was a guy so I called the guy back and I was like, are you still interested? Blah, blah, blah. So I explained to him what he wanted to do. I asked him what he was looking for. And he was like, well, I can I let you know? He's like, I have an interview later. Can I let you know? And I was like, yeah, sure. I'll sit on the sidelines for you, bro. Like, I'm not going to beg anybody to work for me. That's not the situation. I'm not going to do that. I was like, sure thing. No problem. You know, kept it professional. Kept it 100. It's fine. And so I hung up with him and I'm like, Lord, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm in the spot. So then again, in my spirit, I hear, call your brother. I was like, call my brother. So I called my brother or I text my brother and I was like, what are you doing? And he was like, chill it. I was like, you're not working. He was like, no. And so I was like, so here's the deal. Cause I haven't told my family yet <laughs> about this. Cause I didn't want to, I don't know. I just didn't want to fall, fall on my face, you know? So I haven't said anything, but I was like, so here's the deal. So I have a mall cart. I have a mall cart in the mall. Come over here, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, he was like, okay. I was like, what? He was like, yeah. He's like, I'll be there. So I had him come at like two yesterday and he came. What? I was like, Lord. So come to find out he doesn't even have a job. He lost his job or he quit his job or something like that and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, great. So here you go. You're going to help sissy. You're going to help sissy. So he, right now my stepdaughter is there, but he's going to help my brother but but he's gonna help right now um from like two to four or something like that six I always relieve them so I can close up at night but he's it's been very helpful and I'm glad that he was here to do it he came no problem no questions asked and he's actually he was a car salesman so you can sell some tea sell me some tea bro so that's where we are right now with that and it's been a godsend this morning my stepdaughter is there She's 16, so she's a little shy. So I'm like, no, you got to get out there to ask these people if they want some tea. And so she's been doing good. She's like, I got some samples out. <laughs> she's cute. So I'm thankful for that. Thankful it's Friday. So I've had time this morning. So, because my goal, because I want to be set up for tomorrow, like completely. Saturday is my first Saturday. I expect it to be able, because it's already busy during the week. Like I have a whole lot of foot traffic, so I'm thankful for that. Like, where I'm at is a good spot. There's a whole lot of people back and forth. Um, so, I'm, I'm grateful for that. Um, so, I want to, like, really be set up and stocked and ready to go. So, I needed to take today because I haven't had time nor the money. I needed to get myself situated. And so, today was the day that I was taking to do it. But so my stepdaughter doesn't have school on Friday, so she is there right now sitting at the cart while I ran in. But I was like, so I try so but then the wrench in the in the plan, the devil's still coming for me because this last night I was like trying to order all my stuff on Amazon so it would be here like this afternoon. I was hoping. I was hoping. Right. So when as I was doing it, it wasn't gonna be here in time. So I started adding stuff to my Walmart order. I was like, okay, well, if I can just get this from Walmart, it'll be fine. So, okay. So I did that. And then this morning I went to set up the rest of my stuff from Amazon and to send it through. Excuse me. And after I paid for it and everything, it was like not getting here until Monday. I need it for tomorrow. What do you mean not getting here until Monday? I'm like, I, that's not going to work. So there was at least a list of about 20 items that I needed for um, tomorrow. But, and it wasn't going to be here in time. So I was like, all right, Lord, what are we going to do? I don't know. So I was like, I had to go to 15 different places. So I get home and my husband's like, well, I can help you with your business card. Because right now I have just a little piece of paper, a little rickety piece of paper. And I'm like, here's my website. Here you go. Here, look at this. So I wanted a legit business card. And so I gave, he was like, I can help you with this. So he, he sent my business card to Staples right now. Thank you, Lord. That 
perfect. Done. Done. I didn't even ask him. He was like, I can do it. Done. Okay. And then, so I was like, I need to go to the Dollar Tree because I needed to get a couple little things. And then I needed, I figured I needed to go to like Walmart again or Staples to find the labels and stuff that I needed. Y'all, I walked into the dollar store and I knew I was going to get the wood to make my shelves, but I mean, they had everything that I needed. I needed, I'm sorry, the sun's bright. You probably can't see me, but I'm here. Um, they had, I needed the wood to make my shelves but I needed, and like some teaspoons, cause I want like a custom tea bar type deal. And that's what I needed. And like a bin, that's it, that's it. That's all I was going into the Dollar Tree for. Y'all, when I say I walked in to the Dollar Tree, I needed like little chalkboard signs so I can write my specials and stuff like that. They had them. The Lord showed them to me. Like I walked down the aisle, the Lord was like this one. And then I went and grabbed the wood. And then I was like looking around to see what else I could do. I walked around. There was little sign holders. Because I was looking for little sign holders. Stuff that would have cost me like five, six bucks. Wherever else I got it. I walked in. They had the perfect little gold and silver little sign holders. That I can just place on top of my shelves. And so that there's more accessibility. If that's a word. Um, there. I walked over. I got nine teaspoons you know I got two bins and I even got the clips to hang the little tea bags on like what that never happened I was like what I was like seriously Lord I was like thank you Jesus thank you Jesus when I tell you that and I thought I was gonna have to spend the re this whole entire time right now sitting at um sitting in stores running around to stores and all that one stop one stop 20 minutes done back home so far I got my shelves together I got a couple of tea bags made I got a I got a lot to do but I have a bunch of schoolwork I need to do tonight so that's gonna be my night but I'm just saying like the devil's not welcome here anywhere ever okay I'm tired of having to I'm always prayerful you know like protect my babies praying for my businesses praying for but I, I'm tired of stressing and worrying about it because you know what God got it God got it okay 98 95% of the time I can resist the devil in just about anything and everything but um that 5% I, I really do have to work on I do have to work on um and I, I am working on it, and God knows this. I, I'm, I'm trying, but thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I just, I wanted to say a few words of encouragement for anybody that is going through something like this. Like, just hang in there, because I am just going to pray that tomorrow's going to be my day. Tomorrow is going to be the day that God blows my mind and your mind and everyone because he's got it. He's got it. Y'all, thanks for watching. Love you bunches.